Oh, I'm William with the Gardeners, and today I'm in Brooklyn. Not the place where you think about a lot of gardens, but people in cities want to grow food, flowers, and herbs just like everyone else. And that's why community gardens are so popular. Let's go check out what. We have 26 member beds. Okay. Each of these individual beds belongs to a family or a couple or sometimes mm -hmm. just a single person. As I'm looking at this, each of these beds looks, they look unique. I mean, it's not like mm -hmm. you use the same thing. Nope. Kind of, here's some bricks, some, some floor tile. There's, yes. some, there's some bathroom tile. Yes, <laughs> everything you see here came from the site. You're proving that people in the Big Apple can grow apples. Yes. And mulberries and broccoli mm -hmm. and tomatoes and everything else. That just shows you, you can actually green your city too. You got the gumption and you do a little <laughs> of planning here like, like Kristen did. You can definitely go out and start your own community garden. Pamela is a phenomenal gardener. You have tons of produce growing on a rooftop. So everything is grown in buckets from the Home Depot. The great thing about these is it's so cheap to do. I mean, this looks like someone took a section from a farm and just dropped it on the roof. Absolutely. Really? Two things to keep in mind. One, you need big containers. Two, you need a really good high quality potting mix. As these guys grow up, you're gonna to wanna to mound the soil up. This will keep the plants cool. You don't have to spend a lot for each container. You can just go buy these a piece, grow some berries. So you guys heard that. Saves money, uh, feels great, and what'd you say, the best food you ever ate. Best food. Grow your own stuff even in the city. Great job. <laughs> I do all raised bed gardening in the vegetable garden. Just makes it a lot easier to take care of. Uh, don't have to bend over, can sit on the edge, can reach all the way into the middle. This one is, it's, it's raised even higher, it's elevated. If you are a wheelchair bound or um, even if you're getting on up in years and you don't like to bend over so much right, anymore, right. <laughs> this is a great option. This is our vertical garden experiment. It's a great way to grow strawberries because they need excellent drainage. Mm -hmm. Vertical garden is a hot topic now. How's it taste? Oh, that's fantastic. When you're building a raised bed, you want to make sure you come up with an idea of how high you want it to be and what you want to be made out of. Cherrywood timbers are great because you can bring them as high as you want, although you have to have some kind of a bracing system. When you come to railroad ties, that's another one that doesn't really require much of a bracing system, but it only goes so high. With retaining wall, you just place out the first layer, and this nice little ridge here makes it so they go right into place, perfect every time. This is nice. This is straw cool. bales on top of the ground. I mean, I have tree roots here. Yeah. I couldn't hardly break into the clay soil here, so I just made an above a ground uh, bed. Right. Using straw bales as the as the barrier. Filled it in with uh, the Miracle Grow Moisture Control Garden Soil. Well, I'll tell you what's really cool about this. For people who can't go down, it's easy to go out and get some straw. You know, lay it out and then fill the center and plant. Yes, absolutely. Okay, but Ashton, you know, some of us, you know, are, are in urban areas and. We don't have anything, maybe a balcony and a rooftop. I feel your pain. Look at this. And this works great. So just having, just having a large enough container, you can grow tons of vegetables in here. You got to have good drainage. Yeah. And you got to have good soil. I mean, I use the Miracle Grow Moisture Control potting mix. So. Right. And look at the soil. So easy to you can just reach in and grab a handful. It's absolutely it. perfect. Nice, loose, uh, absolutely organic, perfect. rich. That's perfect. You can have a beautiful, productive, tasty garden, whether you live in the suburbs or you live right here in the city. And if you can grow here, you can grow anywhere. <laughs> Check back at Gardeners.com for more tips throughout the season. Get out and grow.